What's going on everybody? Product Probes back at you with another knife review. Today, doing something a little different. Got the traditional pocket knife or the old timer's pocket knife. It's not an old timer pocket knife. This one is a Jabe's Cutlery, but it's a pretty neat knife. I don't have fingernails at all, so every time I try to pull one of these knives out, of course I'm getting stuck on it. But let's dive into it. Let's see what this thing's got. All right, so what I did is I went with the red because it looked better in the pictures, but once it's, you know, once I got it here, I'm not crazy about it. It looks okay, but I probably should have went with a different color on it. Let me show y'all. This is the red right here. And like I said, it doesn't look terrible, but I'm not too crazy about the red. The picture they had made it look real good. But heck, while I got you here in this close-up, you got your little silver bolsters here. Got the red, and it's not anything special. It's just some plastic on top. And if I can pull these blades out, you know, with my fingernails, the got you a clip point blade. And then you've got, let's see, yeah, your spade blade right there. And then on the third one, you got your sheep's foot. So, the knife is pretty stacked for the uh, old style knives. I know that I used to actually carry one. It was the double blade. I think it only had the uh, sheep's foot and the clip point. But that's it right there, guys. The um, spade blade down here at the bottom. <clears throat> it's mostly for if you don't really want to puncture or it's actually for spaying animals but you know like little furry animals or whatever that are smaller you can use to skin them with this and then the clip point of course is going to be you know your bigger knife it's got a sharper point for your stabbing got your little jabe's cutlery down here and then right here with your sheep's foot knife it doesn't have really a point at all and it's good for cutting i don't know a lot of, a lot of the emt people use it for you know, when they have to cut clothes off. So that way they're not, you know, cutting them or stabbing them whenever they're cutting them off. So, you know, if you wanted to open up mail, I guess would be another good example. And you wanted to just cut open the envelope but didn't want to cut the paper underneath, you know, you'd use the sheep's foot knife. And then, you know, your spade blade. I don't really use it much. Of course, I'm not on a farm anymore. But if you had something, you know, smaller or if you wanted to pry it something you didn't want to mess up your other two blades definitely pull this one out i'm not sure about the sharpness of them the um well sheep's foot hmm yeah the sheep's foot is actually it does pretty good right there i don't know if you can see on that blade but it's getting a few hairs <laughs> I tell you what we'll do. Let's go ahead and let's test out the sharpness. And I know I'll probably only be able to do the point on the clip point because the other two, they're not really made for stabbing. So we can at least get the sharpness, you know, coming from the belly. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, let's check out the sharpness on the uh, spade blade first and see how it's going to do. Now the point, of course, is not very good on these, but... Wow, that actually caught pretty good. Now, you're not going to be able to run it down this whole piece of paper because it's only, you know, it's going to stop right there at the end. But it does have some tears, or not some tears, some rips in there. The Yeah, it's not clean cut, but it's, it's catching, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get it at an angle. Look at that. Huh, that's actually pretty surprising that that spade blade caught like that. Uh... I tell you what, no need to test the point on the spay. Let's, now let's go to the sheep's foot. Let's see what it's gonna do. Hey, look at that. I can run that one on down too. So, I was thinking these blades were a little duller, but let's see if we can get it to catch again. Hmm. Slicing? Guys, that's pretty good right there. Now, for the big and the clip point. 
Let's see what we're working with. Mm, I don't know. Not feeling that one. B. Yeah, it's not gonna catch. It doesn't look like. But once you get it in there, it actually comes down pretty good. So, with a clip point, yeah, look at that. The tip goes through there fine. Now, that was actually not too dirty of a cut. It had some rips in there, but it was a little cleaner than I was expecting. So, guys, these blades are not too bad. All right, so I was actually pretty shocked on this. The sharpest blade, of course, was the little spay blade right here. The sharpest point, of course, is going to be the clip point. But then this one is in second place, the sheep's foot, for the second sharpest. So the dullest knife, well, I won't say it's the, yeah, yeah, I will. This one, which is your main knife, is not the sharpest. So, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird to me. So if you're going to be using it for cutting, you know, I'd go with your, at least say your second sharpest. And then, man. That spade blade cut pretty good on that thing. So that's going to be your sharpest knife out of these three on it. But the, um, you know, I don't know. I'll tell you what. This one might end up being a uh, good size knife. So let's go get some measurements and some weights on this thing. And then we'll be able to judge these three blades a little bit better. All right. Got the scale right here. And let's see how this thing weighs out. Am I looking at that right? 1.7? Wow, so this thing for three blades is actually on the lighter side. Yeah, 1.7. So this is actually a super light knife. I'm not sure if you can see right here, but I bet it's because of this cheaper, you know, right here, this cheaper plastic. I, that's got to be just thicker plastic. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So that's probably going to be weighing it down, but the bolsters, they seem pretty cheap too on it. However, for an all stainless steel knife, 1.7 is not bad at all. So, let's go ahead and let's get some uh, measurements on it real quick. First up, let's get the um, clip point on it. Two inch blade, not bad. And then the sheep's foot. Oh. Look at that, it's over one and a half inches. Well, it's right there at it, but you could measure this thing on out to make it one and three fourths. But I bet if we were to read the thing online, it's gonna say one and a half, but it looks like it's giving it almost another quarter inch on that sheep's foot, which, you know, the whole thing is a belly, which is really good. Now, for the spade blade. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. All right. So, yeah, one and a quarter. So not too bad for that being the sharpest knife. This one actually measured out more than I thought. I really thought it was going to be an inch. So I'll give you an extra quarter inch on that spade blade. And then fully closed, which is probably what we're really going to be wanting the measurements for. Almost three and a quarter inch three inches in between there is where you're really going to be sitting so about a three inch pocket knife guys this thing is not bad the thickness on it you know isn't terrible at all and i think the weight with the 1.7 ounces inside your pocket is not going to be any problem at all so if you were to throw this you know each one of these on a stone and get them super sharp they come out super easy and then they, you know, I know it's not a lock back blade, but they fold into a stiffer position, which is really good. So you wouldn't have to worry about cutting your fingers. But guys, right now, I like this little three blade pocket knife. All right, so I'm actually surprised on the weight of this knife. I could see this thing being a really good pocket knife for just the people that like the traditional style knives like this. But I tell you what, just to end it real quick, we'll go over some other details on it. The um, or go back over them. The uh, sheep's uh, sheep's foot blade. I can't even talk. And then you've got your spay blade right there. 
and then again with the clip point right there. So, guys, this knife was actually pretty surprising. You know, when I got it in, I'm thinking, man, this thing ain't going to be too good at all. But the red, I wish was a little bit different, but I think it's growing on me. I don't normally carry, you know, these kind of knives in my pocket. I'm more of the assisted type blade person but you know if you're looking for a triple blade pocket knife this might be the way to go i will uh leave uh the link in the description below super simple review super fast so guys i hope that helps some if it did let us know in the comment section below and i will see y'all in the next one